Welcome everyone. In today's tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to automate sending outbound SMS messages directly from a Google Sheet using your Twilio phone number, all powered by Zapier. This is an incredibly efficient way to manage communications for various purposes. Before we dive in, just a quick note. In the description of this video, I've added links to the necessary software we'll be using, including one that can help you reply to incoming text messages if you're looking to expand on this setup. And if you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more automation tips. To follow along smoothly, I recommend having three browser tabs open. One, your Zapier dashboard, two, the Google Sheet you intend to use, and three, your Twilio console. Let's begin in Zapier. On your Zapier dashboard, we'll start by creating a new Zap. You can typically find a Create Zap button or any similar option. Zapier's AI Copilot is a powerful feature that can significantly streamline this initial setup. In the AI Copilot prompt, we'll clearly define our goal. Type in something precise like when a new role is created in my Google Sheet, send an SMS message using Twilio. The first column in the Google Sheet is the phone number and the second column is the message content. Zapier will then intelligently generate the basic structure of our Zap, typically suggesting Google Sheets as our trigger and Twilio as the action. Confirm these suggestions if prompted. Now we'll just need to configure the specifics for each step. First, let's focus on the Google Sheets trigger. Click on the Google Sheets step. Thanks to our prompt, Zapier should have pre-selected new spreadsheet row as the trigger event. This means that Zap will run whenever a new row is added. Ensure that your Google account is also connected. Now, select the specific Google spreadsheet you'll be using. In my case, I've named it Outbound Text Messages, but you'll choose your relevant file. Next, select the particular worksheet with, within that spreadsheet. If your spreadsheet only has one sheet, it will likely be pre-selected. Once these details are confirmed, click Test Trigger. Zapier will attempt to find a recent row in your selected sheet in, to use as sample data. You can choose which row to use for this test. The sample data will be crucial for setting up the Twilio action correctly. With the trigger successfully tested, Zapier will guide you to the Twilio action step. This should be preset by the AI Copilot to send SMS. Ensure your Twilio account is connected. If it's your first time, you'll need to authenticate it, usually by providing your account SID and authentication token from your Twilio console. You can find it by going to the Twilio homepage scrolling down, and then you should see your authentication token and SID. Now, let's configure the action details. Select your active Twilio phone number from which the messages will be sent. If you're unsure which number to use or you don't have one, navigate to your Twilio console, go to phone numbers, manage, and then active numbers. You can purchase a number there if needed. For the two number field, this is critical. We need to map this field to the data from our Google Sheet. Click the two number field and Zapier will allow you to insert data from the Google Sheets trigger. Select the column that contains the recipient's phone number from your sample data. Similarly, for the message field, map this to the column in your Google Sheet that contains the message text you want to send. For most standard use cases for the send large message option, you can select no. This is more relevant for advanced scenarios. Once everything is configured, click Test Step or Test Action. This will attempt to send an actual SMS message using the sample data from your Google Sheet and your selected Twilio number. A quick but important note, for this test to send successfully and for the live zap to function correctly, a few things must be in place. The phone number in your Google Sheet sample row must be valid, formatted, and a real phone number that can receive SMS. Your Twilio account must be active and have sufficient funds if it's a paid account. If you're using a Twilio free trial, you can typically only send messages to phone numbers you've verified within your Twilio account. My test might show an error here as I'm using a placeholder number and a trial account for this demonstration. In your case, this is how the button should look. I'm going to skip the test because I don't have a valid number, but you should not, and after that, you should publish it. After this, every time you add a new enroll in Google Sheets, Zapier tells Twilio to send out a text message. Remember that after adding the new role, it will take anywhere from 1 to 15 minutes depending on what kind of plan you have with Zapier. Thank you for watching.